How to overcome distractions in a busy life, in a hectic world. How to master your journey. How to refocus yourself again and again on the path to love, unconditional love. Hi, I'm Loren, I'm from the Netherlands and welcome to this beloved channel. And I would like to remind you to be loved, to be loved by your beloved. If you're searching for true unconditional love. I intend to be the guiding light for twin souls who want to unite worldwide. And I'm so glad that you found me. Welcome again. Let's begin. Step one, making choices for yourself, making good choices for yourself, the best choices. One of the best choices I've ever made was stop watching the news. 20 years ago, I finished, about 20 years ago, I finished the master in NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming, and I decided to, to, to stop watching the news. And I never missed it. But when I got together with my twin flame, I call him my man, uh, he's watching the news all the time because he likes to be informed and yeah, he likes to be updated. So in the beginning, I was watching the news with him. So we're sitting together on the couch and we're watching, we were watching the news. But I noticed that it imprinted my brain again and that I didn't sleep that well because I was dreaming about things that were happening on the news. So I decided to, to quit watching the news again. But in the beginning, I was a little bit afraid because I thought, well, maybe then he thinks that I don't want to be informed. But that's not the truth. I do want to be informed and I do want to get updates. I really love the updates that I'm getting from him. So now he's watching the news and I'm chatting with our students in the Twinsel app. And if you, if you want to join it, you're welcome there because it's really nice to not do everything alone on the journey. It is possible to do it alone. I've done it almost alone, but it's much easier. It would have been much easier and it would have saved me so much time and soul pain and sadness if I would have known everything I know now and all the things that I'm teaching now. And uh, so I am uh, chatting with our students and uh, my, my husband is watching the news. And then we are ready after the news. I'm done with my work and he's done with watching the news. And I always ask him, is there something that, uh, that you want to share? What was interesting? So I'm still updated, but I'm not seeing all those images. Um, so that's one example that, that I make a choice that's good for me. From, it's good for me not to see very intense images because I, I start dreaming about it and I want to dream about other things because I want to create our future. So if, I if I'm going to bed, I want to be imprinted with other, other things that are enjoyable for ourselves, but also for the world. So I make a different choice. Um, number two, choosing what's good for you. Recently, I skipped a new Netflix series about the topic that's in my subject that I teach. And I was a little bit sad about hearing about this series because it, it gives a negative association with Twin Flames. And that's such a shame because it's such a beautiful journey. It can be a beautiful journey. One of our students, it's amazing. She's not in union with her twin soul yet, but her sister is now also watching uh, the webinars with her. And I asked why, and she said, yeah, I want to meet my twin flame. I said, why on earth do you want to meet your twin flame? Because it's not a fairy tale. And she said, well, my sister has grown so much because of your teachings. She's following year one and her life changed completely. So her sister said, well, if that's the journey, I don't even care if I, if I will unite with my twin soul because I have seen the grown in my sister and she's grown so much. She is so much, she is so much more confident and I want to be that confident as well. So I'm joining the course and I want to meet my twin flame because then I can grow even faster. And that's the truth because with my twin soul, if I get triggered, which almost never happened, happened anymore. Before our union and the beginning of our, our union, I got triggered and I know now how to heal, heal it. 
it's very natural. Everything goes very natural and in flow and we complement each other. So that's also a part of the twin soul journey. It's another part than the separation phase. And I, I like this phase more, of course. That's why I, I, I want to, to talk about it and to share it. Let the world know that it can be different. So that's why I didn't watch the series because it was negative. And I know everything they were talking about in the series. Because um, when I entered the twin flame journey, I have encountered... Uh, where they were talking about. So I wrote a blog about it. If you're really inter interested in, I would skip it, but you can read it and you can read the over 30 comments that I got on the blog and they all said more or less the same, but they love the pure guidance that I'm giving and that they didn't resonate with, uh, with some other teachings. So just choose for yourself what feels good to you. There are enough teachers and there are pure teachers and there are less pure teachers and everybody is trying to help. In the end, you have to figure out for yourself what feels good for you and just make the right choices. And especially that will not distract you from your journey. So don't get distracted by all this negativity, but refocus yourself. And you can, for instance, do that with our 1111 meditation. It's for free. I will put the link below. And um, I love that meditation because it uses all the chakras and all the themes that I'm teaching about. So we have the 11 themes and it starts with balance to, to get more balanced. And if you are not distracted, you will find your own balance again. So we start with balance then self-love, trust, trust in love, trust in life. And then, then we build it up. So we... We, we start with the first chakra, the root chakra, with the red colors. And then uh, finally we go over to the violet light and, and white light. So, and then you, you, you get into flow. So I will I put a link below and you can join our free 11, 11 meditation. And we have also a full meditation and I share it with our students in the Twin Soul app. And that's more profound than we go even deeper and make a divine connection. Some tips to stay focused. How do you do that? I recommend you to start your day with your own morning routine and not grab your phone right away. It's very tempting to, to reach out for your phone, but try a simple routine that makes you feel good. You can, for instance, start with the 1111 meditation. Uh, you can go out into nature, but make a a daily routine and give the morning back to yourself and that really helps you to refocus it really helps me sometimes I got tempted because we have four children and it's a busy life and uh, I have so many students and so many followers and some of them they send me private emails or private uh, whatsapp but that's really difficult for me because uh, then I cannot refocus and stay in balance myself so that's why I developed the twin soul app so we have all the questions centered over there because if you have a question the chance is big that someone else already posed the question as well and then you can directly find it so you can log in and you can share all your adventures and your success stories and you will get my answers and affirmations and you can also help each other so that's that's more easy for me because i then i can log in in my own time <laughs> when my husband is watching the news and then I can answer all the, um, the chats. So it's also for me, it, it helps me to, to focus on the journey and help you in the best possible way. All right. Also, don't get too entangled with your current 3D. So don't get distracted by your 3D reality. Everything what's happening in life, everything what you see on the news or on Netflix series. You can also, I love Netflix and um, I love to watch Netflix with my twin soul, especially during Corona time. I think we watch Netflix every evening. <laughs> yeah, that was wonderful. And I also share our Netflix series tips uh, in the twin soul app. And, but then you choose it by yourself. It doesn't come to you but you choose it and you go over there and, and then you are the master of your path. And it's the same with your 3D. If you focus on the 3D, 
and you spiral on everything that's happening, then you get more of that. Instead, I inspire you to refocus yourself on the desired 5D. So we can use the affirmation, I value 5D more than 3D because that's how I create our beautiful future together. So if you want to strengthen that affirmation, write it down below in the comments. I value 5D more than 3D because that's how I create our beautiful future together. So if you really are disciplined and you really want to change your life, a lot of people just want to watch webinars or videos and they don't want to really, they don't really want to change. If you really want to change, then start a mental diet. Focus on your 5D again and again. Refocus and give meaning to your 5D. Give value, more value to your 5D. If that's more important to you, because you know that with your 5D imagination, with your 5D affirmations, you will create your new 3D reality that you love. Because you can decide, you can master your journey. And you can create your beautiful life together if you do that. I've done it myself and I've seen many of our students doing it. And repeat the affirmations again and again and, and it will help you. Now I would like to ask you, what's your ultimate tip for beating distractions? How to overcome distractions and how do you stay focused on the journey? Let's inspire each other and the most creative tip We'll get a shout out in the next video and I also want to talk about the next video because maybe that will be the best video for you because I will give the best reading ever and it's not what you think and it's like getting the best advice ever and we will start talking about readings because maybe you are one of the people that are watching readings for hours and let's see how we can make that time more efficient. So subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified when the new video comes out. Well, conclusion. In a world full of distractions, it might sometimes be difficult. I understand it because I've been there and sometimes I also get distracted as well. And then what really helps me are also the essential oils. If you want to know what's in our diffuser today, it's the Calmy, it's the Memory and the Purely. The Calmy is with 100% lavender and it's the essential oil of soul communication. The Memory is with 100% rosemary and that's, that's the oil that helps you to create new memories. You can do memory writing and it can also help you in the next video about um, the best reading ever. So stay tuned to that one. And the purely, it helps you to be pure and let everything flow. So if you want to have pure guidance, if you want to guide yourself in a pure way and not be distracted by, by things that are not in line with true twin flame love, uh, then you can use the purely essential oil and it with, it's with 100% lemongrass. All right, so if you want to try our 11.11 meditation for free, you can uh, find the link below. Keep liking, keep subscribing, share this video or leave your thoughts in the comments of, or of course your affirmation and the affirmation of today is I value 5D more than 3D because that's the way I create our beautiful life together. And always remember, if you are searching for love, you have to be loved to be loved by your beloved. Until next time.